Hey everybody, and welcome to the first ever totally online Bio 303 Ecology and Evolution class this summer. So there's going to be no live lectures. You're going to get one or two of these lectures from me about once a week. So here's a few things you need to know about the course. Uh, first of all, everything is posted on Learn. I mean, you can find everything you need in there. So I've got the syllabus posted. You should review that. It's pretty short. I've got a timeline for the class when we're going to be learning certain things, when tests are due, what book we're using, stuff like that. I've also posted detailed PowerPoints. Now, in a normal live class, right, I would come in, throw a couple pictures up there, and talk about them. You guys would take notes. Well, what I've done this time is I've put all that information in the PowerPoints. So that's important because almost every single thing you need to know is in the PowerPoints. And I've also got links in there to YouTube videos I've made and I'm still making YouTube videos. Uh, other websites that'll help out like Khan Academy and you guys are welcome to use a Wikipedia too to help out. I know, I said Wikipedia, it's actually really good despite what you've learned. Um, our book this summer is Freeman's sixth edition. It's biologic or biological sciences, science for biology, something like that. Yeah, Freeman's sixth edition. That's the book. And it's a good book. It's got a lot of information. But one of the issues with it is that it's not the definitive authority on biology. And it is a little bit light. It's written for freshmen and sophomores. This is a 300 level class. And in the evolution section, it's really light. So that being said, in my PowerPoints and some of the other materials I'm posting, there's a lot more information in there than it's in the book, especially on things like the modern synthesis and the uh, evolutionary history of life on the planet. In fact, I'll spend an entire week on that and that's only like half a chapter in the book. So make sure that you cover my material on that uh, modern synthesis and evolutionary history, which I find totally fascinating. Okay, so what we're gonna learn this summer well, the class, of course, is Ecology and Evolution, and we do the Evolution section first. And this week, as you're finding out, we're talking about the history of evolutionary thought. And one of my favorite things to talk about, that's the evolution of life on this planet, starting with the origins of life and how life has evolved and adapted and has had these key evolutionary innovations that have paved the way for everything we see today. Stuff like photosynthesis, endosymbiosis, cellular respiration. We're going to learn about those. I, I like to get uh, like to think of this as like life ascending from Nick Lane's book, The Ten Great Inventions of Evolution. And that's a fantastic read, by the way, if you ever want to read that. Well, that will last four weeks. And then we will move on to the ecology section. Okay. So the structure of the course, we've got eight weeks. Each week is basically a learning module. I've got everything you need in that one module for that week. PowerPoints, links to videos. I'm experimenting with podcasts. I just started them uh, early this semester. I won't have all the information you need to know in the podcast, but I will have a fair amount of it in there. And I'm trying to make that uh, a little bit more exciting so that you can listen to it rather than have to sit down, read a book, and watch a video. You can like listen to it in your car or whatever. And the podcasts are available everywhere. I mean, they're on Apple, they're on Spotify, they're on Google. And I've uh, posted links to my Buzzsprout website for them as well. And so if you want me to do a particular podcast, let me know. Uh, and also if you have uh, suggestions for how to improve them. I'm looking for music and sounds. Hint, hint, hint. I could use some music and sounds for that. Okay. Let's see. And I'll also keep making videos. Videos take a long time. So uh, I'll do as many as I can. But like I said, most of the information's in the PowerPoints. And I'll try to back that up with some videos. Now, here's your grading. If we were doing a normal semester, and we are no longer in normal times, but you would get about four tests, and they'd be worth 100 points each. And in the summer, we get one every two weeks. Well, I'm going to change that up. We're going to get eight tests. I know, eight tests. That's, uh, that sounds like a lot. Basically, what I've done is I've taken, taken your four tests, split them in half. They're worth 50 points each. So you get a test each week. Uh, they're available basically for a week for you to take. They are, well, they're online. I, I, anything goes. Uh, open book, open note, I, Google, I don't care. Uh, you, If you do not study for them, you'll be in trouble, and I'll come back to that point in a second. But you have these eight tests. I will take 
the best out of seven. So I'm going to drop your lowest one, okay? And you have about a week to take them. They're all going to be due Sunday at 11.59 uh, p.m. Now, in this first week, I'll extend the due date on the first test a few uh, about a week. But after that, all the tests will be due 11.59 p.m. Sunday night. That's for full credit. If you're late, okay, that's fine. You can turn it in for 75% credit, and you can basically turn in a test anytime you want late, and it will still be accepted. Now, that being said, because you've got an entire week to take a test, please don't email me Sunday night freaked out that your computer crashed, your car got broke down, whatever excuse happens to people on Sunday night. Uh, yeah, you had a week to take it, and you can turn it in late and you know, it'll cost you. So the main thing here is open up the test early. You'll have 90 minutes, uh, two hours. Sorry, two hours to take the test. Get them done. Start early. Don't wait till Sunday night. And I'm going to give you two essays as well, each worth 25 points, one for the evolution section and one for the ecology section. And the essays, um, I, I hope that they're fine. I, I, I don't want you to have to go do a ton of research, but I want them to be thought-provoking and uh, and kind of inspire some of your imagination. And I will actually grade those essays myself. I have a grader, Joseph Barnett, will be grading and helping out with the test, and he's awesome. Now, let me have a real conversation with you about online classes. We like online, some of us like online classes. I'm gonna be straight with you. I really prefer lecturing in class. I love getting to know you guys. I really like interacting with students. I love teaching. And one of the problem is, is that I'm talking into a camera right now and I wish I was looking out at you guys because like I said, I went into teaching because I really enjoy uh, teaching students and interacting with students and learning from you guys and getting to know you. And it's hard to do that. But here's the nice thing. You don't have to come to class at whatever time in the morning we have it. Um, you can do this on your own time. That's why I'm giving you a week to take a test. I mean, open it up. Do it when you can. Uh, you're on your own schedule. You don't have to worry about all these about uh, being forced into a into a normal schedule here. Students nationwide, and including my test, don't do as well online. I've given the exact same test online and to my in-class students, only to watch the in-class students score over 10 points higher. That's a full letter grade, and it's the same test. And what I've realized is that online students, uh, a couple of things, you not come into class every day, so you're not exposed to the material every day. That should be a hint. You should study a little bit every day. Second, online students think that they don't have to study for the test because they can look all the answers up as they take the test. All right. I'm not saying you can't use your books and your notes and, and Google while taking the test. But my test questions are not going to be simple ones like define evolution. You go to Google and you pop up what is evolution and cut and paste it in there. That won't work. The tests are designed to make you think about the material. Uh, you can't simply Google the answers. You have to be familiar with it. So you need to study for these tests, okay? Please, study for them, all right? They are challenging. This is a 300 level course. Yeah, study every day a little bit just keep yourself going with it you know an hour a day here and there and then when you're ready you can take the test and and do that online students that do well basically um, you have to be self-sufficient unfortunately you don't have instant access to me I will try to answer uh, emails if you've got a question about the material or about um, what you're learning send me the question but also for to get a response from me you have to give me some type of uh, answer in terms of what you what you're thinking. You try to answer it first, and then I will help guide you to the right answer. Just don't ask me, "Hey Tom, what is natural selection?" No, I want if you don't know understand natural selection, say, "Hey, I'm not sure I understand natural selection. I think it's this," and then we can have a correspondence like that. So be self-sufficient. You gotta you gotta learn on your own. There's Khan Academy. There's Wikipedia. There's all the material I've posted. And then, like I said, if you're still stumped, please come interact with me. Okay, next, you have to be motivated. I'm not there every morning to say, hey guys, we're going to learn this today. You've got to be motivated to learn this stuff on your own. And you have to be efficient with your time. I know, 
working at home is hard. You see my little tiny office around here. My daughter's sleeping in her room. My wife and dogs are hanging out, right? And I'm around them all the time. And you would think that being at home is lots of time to study. It's not. But you have to make time to study. You have to carve that out. Uh, I think that's about it. I am going to try to go live once a week. I'm going to go live tomorrow so that uh, we can have some questions. And I will answer your questions that you sent to me on email as well. And then I'll go live on YouTube. And what you can do on live YouTube is you can basically email me or go live with me and then ask a question and I can answer it real time for you about the questions in the class. Also about appointments for office hours, I'm not in my office, I'm in my home. So you can ask me questions on email about logistics and also if you wanna do a, an appointment, we can do like a Zoom meeting face to face if you wish to do that. Okay, well that's the introduction to this class. Uh, the first module is already up, I'll have that first Excuse me, I have that first test up and ready for you guys with an extension on it. And uh, like I said, I look forward to it. And some of you have already sent me some really cool questions on email and have wanted to share things with me. And I really appreciate that because I do feel a little isolated sometimes, especially not being on campus. I, I, I'll be honest, I miss being on campus this summer. But this is something unique, something new, and uh, let's, let's do this. Okay, until next time.